Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going grocery shopping for the first time since the quarantine stuff all started. Um, I have not went grocery shopping out. I have ordered all my groceries online and it's just getting a little expensive. So I am going to the store for the first time. I made myself a mask. I will go ahead and insert that footage right here. I just used a long sleeve shirt, no sewing, nothing required. Um, it's not to replace a mask, a medical mask, but it's better than nothing. So I'll go ahead and insert that footage real quick. So this is so easy. All you're going to take is a long sleeve shirt, preferably one that's not super thick, and you're going to fold down from the bottom twice, and then the top you're going to fold over once. Then you're just going to add a coffee filter in the fold, and that is it. There's no cutting, nothing. You're actually going to use the sleeves as the tie in the back. So I just quickly wanted to show you guys this black one that I made the exact same way and right here I was just showing you that you can take your thumbs and tuck it up under to make it a little bit tighter to your face. Um, so now that I showed you guys that, like I said, it's not to replace a medical mask, it's just something that is better, it's better than nothing. I don't want to go out in public without some type of protection. I have my hand sanitizer with me um, and yeah, I feel a little bit safer wearing it. And if it makes me feel better, it makes me feel better. So in case you have to go out in public, maybe you can make one it's super easy. You don't have to cut up your shirt <laughs> um, or anything like that. So anyway, I'm going to go get what I need and I will give you guys a grocery haul as soon as I get back. Okay, so I just pulled in at Walmart and I got my face mask here. The reason why I'm wearing the black one instead of the other one is because, to be honest with you, I feel like the other one is a little too flashy for me personally um, with the you know, skin print. I don't know. I just don't want people staring at me. I don't like to be center of attention and I definitely don't want people looking at my face mask. So this is my shirt that I just folded up and I'm going to use these sleeves to tie in the back and I just tie it in a bow in the back just so it's easy to untie and I just keep my hair up so it's easy to tie and then I lay my hair down on top of it. So I really hate this. This makes me so so freaking nervous. I don't know why, but my heart is pounding. I hate this for everybody. I really do. This is, I really hope and pray that this gets over with soon. So anyway, you won't be able to hear me once I put this on. My voice is very, very muffled because it's pretty thick. So I'll see you guys whenever I get home. So here is all of the stuff that I got today. Um, there's also some more stuff over here because it wouldn't fit on this counter. But I'm going to go ahead and just share with you guys what I got in no particular order. I just got to get through this haul so that way I can put this stuff away because there's a lot. Um, so first off, we'll start over here. I just got some lunch meat, some rotisserie chicken. This is the black forest ham and this is roast beef. I got a box of hamburger helper, a soft taco... Um, or hard and soft taco kit, some waffles, 
a whole bunch of Lunchables. I got the ham and American and then the pizza kind. I also got some cream cheese, some au jus gravy because we like to have um, like roast beef sandwiches and just dip our sandwiches into the, um, the au jus just like basically like what you see on the package. I got some sweet cream butter. The lady accidentally rang me up for those, but those were not mine. I don't know <laughs> if it might have just fell off of the counter, but it's fine. Some tomatoes, uh, strawberries. We got some bananas here, plums, two lemons, and some Brussels sprouts. So that's all of that stuff. We got some beef and bean burritos, some fettuccine alfredo. My husband likes those. Um, the kids also really love sliced peaches, so I got two cans of those. I got some chicken fl um, flavored rice and some cheddar broccoli. Two things of ranch. Um, some baby wipes. I got some iceberg lettuce right here. Some everything bagels. And then these are some cake pans because mine actually broke. I had a glass one that, that shattered. So I just got um, an 8x8 eight eight and a 9. What is it? Is it a 9x9? Nine nine? Um, never mind. It was a 12 by 8, basically, so I got that. It's okay, baby. He'll be up in just a minute, okay? Come here. He'll be up in just a minute. We also got some honey buns, some Cheez-It snack mix, some Suddenly Pasta salad. This is our favorite one. I got a big box of party size, like, mixed chips, some goldfish, ramen noodles, because we haven't had those in forever. They've been sold out. Some oatmeal cream pies and fudge rounds. Basically, all of these like random little Debbie snacks are my husband's. He loves them. He'll take them to work and snack on them. So those are all really for him. We've got a gallon of milk, two big things of coffee creamer, some body armor. He likes the orange ones and then the strawberry banana. So I got a bunch of those. We have some pizza rolls, some breaded okra, some taco shells because I'm going to make him some like um, chicken rolls with the deli chicken and I got some Tennessee pride um, so sausage that's usually what I use to um, make our sausage gravy I also got some summer sausage a pork tenderloin five pounds of ground beef slow cooker savory beef roast this is pretty expensive but this is so good and that will at least give us two dinners so got that under the okra there are some fine green beans some uh, what are those? Tostino's party pizzas. I think I said hot dogs already. I don't know. Corn dogs. I got those. I found toilet paper, so I got two packs of the six rolls. Um, paper plates and paper towels and a Tony's pizza. So that's all of that on this side and a um, bag of dog food. And then moving on over here, I got some broccoli, some fine green beans. Um, this is a cucumber, some shredded lettuce, um, corn like this will actually feed us a couple dinners because they're you know it'll split for at least two some hamburger buns some bread plain bagels my husband's um, favorite soups he likes to take these for work some shredded cheese Swiss cheese string cheese and some halo oranges and then back here we just have a couple treats so some cookies and some brownies and I also bought some other stuff which I'll show you guys that in just a minute in a separate haul one thing I just found in a bag um, was this pack of salmon. It looked really good, and they're seasoned differently. My husband and I love salmon, and this will feed us. And whenever we eat this, the kids will usually just have something else. They're not really a fan of salmon, but we love it, and that looked delicious. So I grabbed that as well, and I think that was everything. Um, but I got a couple other random things, so I'll show you guys that. And show everybody that you got. Not me, not Mommy. <laughs> show the truck. There, ooh, that's my rock climber. Rock right climber. <laughs> Good job. But I also got each of the dogs a dog bed, a big one for Honey and Zoe, and then a small one for Little. I got some more gray tennis shoes. These are um, very, very comfortable, and I love them, but mine got like super dirty from the garden, so I wanted a new pair. I also got Amaya a swimsuit. I thought it was really cute. Um, all the colors. She got a Hatchimal egg. She requested pink and purple flowers and I got some blue jean shorts. Alright, so the freezer and the fridge 
is slap full. Makes me feel a lot better. I was getting stressed. Our food was like to a minimum, but nice and full now. All right, so that is gonna be it for this grocery haul slash grocery haul vlog. <laughs> this kind of turned into like a vlog style grocery haul. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind that. I had to put all of our groceries away. It took me forever. I also forgot to clean up the fridge before we left or before I left. And I had to clean it out before I could put the groceries away because there was a lot of like leftovers in the fridge that we hadn't ate. I had to like reorganize it. So it took me a while. But it's done now. Um, I'm going to go outside and hang out with the kids and my husband for the rest of the weekend. <sighs> so I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget that the, at the beginning when I showed you guys a homemade mask or face mask, please remember that it is not to replace a medical mask. Um, I don't want anyone to get false hope or false reassurance, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is just something that's better than nothing if you can't find a mask like I can't. So... Also, I always forget to say this, but in the description box, I will have a full meal plan listed so you guys can get some ideas. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.